What happens next? The sleepy sun yawned happily and drifted off to sleep. That's when the nightmare started. Um, what? You see, the cute little animal friends did not know of the beast that lived in the forest. The beast that was hungry. Hungry for hugs? No, for flesh. Cute animal flesh. <gasps> I'm making it up as I go, but it's already a way better story. The sky grew dark, the wind howled, and the cake was sour and mushy. Not the cake! <sighs> the animals ran, but the beast caught up. He had webbed feet, purple skin, and one giant eye. <sighs> It gobbled up all the animals. None of their little hugs could stop it. <gasps> but the little animals lived forever. What? Inside the hump on the beast's back. <sighs> and the beast screamed to the dark night sky. I am the Margorax! <laughs> Nap time! <laughs> Lights out! The Morgrax mostly comes at nap time. Mostly. Thank goodness for nap time. I can't wait to try on my new scuba suit and find me some sunken pirate treasure. Is everyone else too full of ice cold terror to nap? Is everyone too full of ice cold terror to speak so you're nodding silently? Okay, Gwen, will the Morgrax come for us? Guys, don't worry about the Morgorax coming for you. Because nothing can stop it if it does. <gasps> what was that? Does the Morgorax squeak? No, but the animals in its hump do. Oh, no! If its hump is here, so is the rest of it. Phew! It's just that mean squirrel. I wish the Morgorax would get him. I think the squirrel just got Morgaraxed! It's my fault! I forgot wishes have power! I planted a seed, and now I get to watch my terror flower grow. It's okay! I piled all our food by the door! Maybe the Morgarax will eat that instead of us! <laughs> Why? What is it? Behold! <gasps> is that... What is that? It's slime! <gasps> <laughs> Slime's so sticky and squishy and gooey and green, but I'm not allowed it at home anymore. What? Why not? Beats me. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it here now, but we gotta make way more. <gasps> you know how? Yep, got the recipe up here in the old bee brain. I don't really know what I'm doing, but hey, how hard can slime be? to improvise because we don't have all the ingredients. Meaning you don't have them or you don't know them? Both. Let's do this. Gelatin, green food coloring, glue, more glue, a different glue, something else sticky. Hmm. Ooh, soda for bubbles and that plant grower powder. I Whoa. wouldn't do that if I were you. I agree with Gwen, but if anyone repeats that, I'll deny it. You don't know how that will interact. Like my pet rat and my pet snake. <laughs> this isn't about rats and snakes. It's the vets and slime extravaganza. So make like a man buzz. It's your funeral. I really like funerals. Some self-named plant food and it's almost done. It's ready. Woohoo! Squishy puppy, squishy puppy. Wait, I want to try one last thing. This is going to make it extra warm and gooey. This is going to be bad. Ah! Uh. Slime's up! It's ready! Whoa! <gasps> it looks so warm and gooey. And it's moving! <gasps> yep, I'm out. Me too! Look at this 
alive. I'm gonna call her Slimy. Beth, don't go making friends with it. I've seen this movie before and it doesn't end well. <laughs> the slime feeds on everything, like cats, cars, babies, buildings, until it's devoured the whole planet. And it's just a big green booger floating through space. Nice try, Gwen, but this is my movie, and it's a buddy comedy, where a cool gal and her green slime bestie have so much fun. And even though they seem different, they're best friends forever. <laughs> I love bees, big time, but they fly away when I try to hug them. How can I make bees my best friends? Hmm, I drew a cowgirl on a dolphin, but I was also listening. Bees love honey. Beth, you gotta be honey. How can I be the... <laughs> that advice is the worst. <gasps> this is the best day ever. You really are the best life advice giver person. <laughs> what is it you were saying? You'll see. I'll prove that I'm the world's best life advice giver person. Ooh, is he giving advice? Who take advice from someone who calls farts bum burps? Izzy's advice is the best. And she has business cards. Business cards? Izzy is legit. Unbelievable. It's Izzy. Nothing good could come of her advice. What does Duncan know? Being an advice giver has been my lifelong dream ever since my grandma gave me this career sphere. You just shake it and it tells you what career you'll be brilliant at. On my first try, it said I was gonna be a garbage inspector. What are you doing? My job! Giving advice is way more fun, and it stinks less. <laughs> <laughs> Life going bad, Chef? Let me give you some advice. <laughs> Watching people crash and burn is fun, so if you can't beat them, join them. Yeah, you should totally, definitely listen to Izzy. I've been so stressed lately, I never get a moment to myself. You need a relaxation retreat. I can't just leave. There are cameras. You don't gotta leave. Turn your office into an oasis. Close the door and let the stress melt away. Oasis. Man, Izzy was so right. I'm feeling relaxed already. Chef! Oh, don't try to tell me that Izzy's advice is working. It is. I feel great. You should go see Izzy. She really knows her stuff. <sighs> it's okay, little tree. I'll replant you. How's my latest client? Relax. Anyone can give advice to someone who wants it. Duncan's right. If I want to be the best, I need to help people who don't even know they need it. <gasps> Harold! You've got really beautiful eyes. I... I do? Yeah, ha! Two of them! Thanks, Izzy. No one is... Ever... Ah, but not with your glasses on. Ugh, <laughs> ugh. Uh, Ditch them glasses. Let the world see those pretty peepers. Well, Beth and Chef seem happy with your advice, so why not? Okay, kids. I set the thermostat on this brand new super turbo climate control system to sleepify. Nighty night. <laughs> Hello, super turbo climate control system. How cold can you get? As cold as you wish. Cool. Hey, guys. Do you want to build a snow bunny? Yay! Set to Canada. <laughs> Let it snow. <sighs> snow on Easter? Climate change is real. I better order some mittens for me and the kids. Pink ones, blue ones, ooh, rainbow colored ones. Wow, my mittens are here already? What are you doing here, big guy? Throwing a mitten party? Why wasn't I invited? I got hams. Just a few Easter gifts for me and the kids. Whatever. That's the third mitten party I haven't been invited to this week. I have got to stop eating garlic. <laughs> I don't know which ones are cuter. Oh, what's that sound? 
Oh boy, it's the ice cream truck! Yeah. Huh? Wait, ice cream in a snowstorm? What is happening? Just hit it! <laughs> Hoppy set the thermostat to Canada. Yeah, yeah Hoppy, Hoppy did, did it. it. <sighs> Hoppy, huh? Okay. Hoppy, I'm locking you up. <gasps> Hoppy will never survive prison. He's too soft. You're grounded. I had to remove Hoppy from the class. He's become a bad influence. I mean, I know Hoppy isn't really behind this, because uh, <laughs> that'd be impossible. Right? Hi, Beth. How can I help you? Hey, Chef. What do you call two donkeys riding a kangaroo? <laughs> that sounds like a fun one. I don't know. What do you call them? It's not a joke. I'm honestly asking. You're a teacher. You're supposed to know this stuff. That kid's weird. What? Is Hoppy actually alive? What was that? Hoppy did it. What? Hmm. <laughs> How did this happen? Someone left the chocolate fountain on. I think we all know who. Dun, dun, dun. I guess this will be okay. I'm gonna just kick back and relax. <sighs> I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. You wrecked my sand castle. Hey, you got sand in my pants. Well, that's what you get for being a big doofus. I know you are, but what am I? A doofus. I know you are, but what am I? Hey, Duncan, he threw ah! Would you two quit? Ah! Ah! Stop, just stop. Look, I think everyone's a bit tired and hungry. How about I go and get you a snack? We want ice cream. ice cream! Fine, I'll get some ice cream. Some day of freedom? I'm supposed to be chilling at the beach, not serving a couple of nagging kids. Beth? Cody? Up here! Guys, your ice cream is melting. No! Don't let it melt! Then come down. We can't, we paid for a full hour. How did you pay? Uh, they said you were paying. This was supposed to be Appreciating Nature Day. Hey, if you've got time to lean, you've got time to clean. What? But, but I just washed all these dishes. I'm not paying you to complain. You're not paying me at all. I'm working off your meals. That's it. You're on bathroom duty. Da -da 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 -da. OK, you guys got to stop spending so much of my cash. It's almost gone. And you two go around as if I'm made of money. No more. Got it? I guess you can choose what we do next. Really? We, we want to go to the zoo. zoo. I'm cool with the zoo. Sure. Yay! But no souvenirs. Thanks for buying us each something at the gift shop, Duncan. Like you gave me a choice. You tried to jump into the bear pit if I didn't. Oh, no. I dropped my Sally Safari doll. Duncan, can you go get it? You want me to get your doll? In the alligator pit? No way! Then I'm telling Shep everything! Well, wait, just... Aw, oh, come on! 40 linked sausages, please. When I say pull me up, pull me up. Phew. Ugh. Oh, Sally, you're alive! It's safari time. Whoa! here. Ah, a 
dragon! Are you a nice dragon? Mm. Or the one that devours small children? I'm either gonna shake your hand or break it, depending on what you say. Izzy, it's me, Duncan. I'm inside this dragon costume and the zipper's busted. How do I know you're not just a dragon who ate Duncan? Tell me something only Duncan would know. You're an insane person. It is you! Hey, Duncan! Ooh. <sighs> I've always wanted to know what it's like on the other side of a rainbow. <laughs> Sparkle Landy has such mm, wonderful creatures and cuisine. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, hello. Let's sing a song. Oh, we're not groundhogs. We're not mice. Call us either. We won't be nice. We're not parrots. Not wingless. Storms, sue me. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of scared of Izzy, too. You know, I think it's time I head back to the daycare. Well, now that I've seen Sparkolandia, I'm heading that way, too. Yeah! Fly, dragon, fly! Izzy, you know I can't fly. Shh, don't ruin this for me. I'm riding a dragon. <sighs> you know, this would be a whole lot faster if you get off and walk. Would it be a whole lot better if you'd fly? It's okay, Duncan. You'll be all right. It won't be like before. <laughs> ah! Ah! Hello? Ah! <laughs> I've got to hurry. A bus will get us there way faster. Now this is what I'm talking about! Hey! Open the door! Oh, 
someone. What? Who? Owen! <laughs> Your voice! <gasps> <gasps> Sit. Shake a paw. <laughs> Play dead. Speak. <laughs> Good boy! I did it! I had to tie someone! Simon says, help dig my escape tunnel. I'm finally gonna ditch this dump. Izzy, that's a sewer pipe. Go around it. Go around it! Ah! <laughs> Why didn't you go around it? Because you didn't say Simon says. <laughs> sewer gator! Ah! Simon says wrestle the gator! <laughs> ah! Duncan, did you wrestle that sewer gator all by yourself? Nice! You get a gold star today! Phew! There you are! What are you doing hogging Izzy all to yourself? You answered your own question! Hogging Izzy all to myself! <sighs> Izzy, Simon says come with me! Wow! You did an amazing job building my dream sandcastle! Thanks! The sand flanks were the hardest part! I'm gonna check out the rooftop patio! Oh yeah! This is the life I was meant to have! Are you kidding me? This is the life I'm supposed to have! There's only enough room for one castle in the sandbox, and it's mine. But I want one, too! Hey, am I sinking? Is this quicksand? Uh, I didn't ask for quicksand. You said Simon Says build me my dream sandcastle. So I added a moat made of quicksand to keep out the riffraff. I know how you dream. Well, Duncan, guess I'm the queen of the castle, and you're the dirty rascal. Yeah? Izzy, let's make her fairy tale even more fun. Simon says, make a fire-breathing dragon attack her castle. Simon says, go ahead and try. There's no such thing as dragons. Hello. I don't know why I'm here. A dragon costume. Cool. Uh-oh. Ah! Ah! Water! This dragon needs water! Here, Owen. <laughs> this isn't good. <sighs> Uh-oh. Now I think the fire's coming out the other end. <laughs> okay, now it's my turn to get a castle. Oh, no. You sick a beast on me, I sick a beast on you. When you least expect it. <laughs> Birdseed? What's the deal? Yeah, yeah! You didn't say. The Simon says, get him off me! And on to Lashana! Wait! Simon says, <laughs> Whoa! Ah! Simon says, cut me loose! Oof. That was awesome! Okay, kids, let's make some cards! <gasps> Look at all this stuff! Chef, never let No one's gonna win a prize by staring at it. Come on, get card making. And remember, this is a competition. Plaster scene? Pipe cleaners? I don't know what to start with. <gasps> Glitter glue? The holy grail of art supplies? I'll take that. Over my dead body. Hey, I saw it first. <gasps> <gasps> Okay, kids are busy crafting. Time to catch up on my paperwork. Chef, if someone ate this stuff, would they poop glitter? Yes. Cool. Okay, it's been five hours. Let's see how you're doing. Mm. Uh, this won't do. I gotta motivate the kids to make my mother, uh, I mean their mothers, something that my mother, uh, I mean their mothers, will actually like. Draw tulips. It's every mother's favorite flower. Okay. Oh, and uh, maybe draw a picture of that apple cinnamon pie she loves to bake. My mom hates cinnamon. No, she doesn't. Moms love hats, bowling, knitting, and their parrot, Steven. My mom doesn't have a parrot named Steven. Of course she does. All mothers have a parrot named Steven. I'm Steven. Happy Mother's Day. 
Emerald, what are you doing? I'm signing my name on my card. Too personal. Mothers like it vague, vague. Just write, love your favorite son. All of you. But we're girls. Do you want to win the prize or not? Favorite son it is. Nice job, princess. Stop copying my card, Duncan. This is a competition, and I'm going to win the prize. I don't know. Mine's pretty good. Ah! You're both going down like a load of bricks! Huh? I have a bit of a competitive side when a prize is on the line. Chef, can you just tell us what the surprise prize is? I still gotta think of something. Oh, no. That's against the Mother's Day competition rules. But I'll tell you this. It's... It's, uh, 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 amazing and super surprising. Yay! What you looking at? Oh, I'm just looking around to see who's going to finish second, because I'm about to win this thing. I just hope you're ready to savor the sweet taste of defeat, because that's what I'm serving today. Bring it on. My card is going to be so good, it's going to make all of your cards cry for their mommies. That's it. Your butts are grass, and I'm the I told you, it's just in my blood. We're making good time. Mm. <gasps> the campsite! <gasps> it's beautiful! No, Owen, that's a burger place. Oh. We're here! Look, guys, look! Nope, that's a taco place. Oh, I guess my parents never took me camping after all. Izzy, for the last time, you're not a Labradoodle. Head inside the bus. Oh, wow, that's amazing. Would you like to hear some interesting facts about Bigfoot? Sure. Would you like to hear some interesting facts about Bigfoot? <gasps> Do I ever? Ah, what a nice, relaxing drive through nature. So quiet and peaceful. Chef, I need to use the little girl's room. Don't worry, Courtney. We'll just stop right up here. Nah, too gross. No, too creepy. That's just terrifying. Nah, too intimidating. Chef, I really have to go. It'll only be a few more minutes. Look, Chef, this is happening whether I'm in a bathroom or not. Shortcut! <laughs> that shortcut was a bad idea. I realized that shortcut got a little bumpy, but... A little bumpy? Chef, where's the washroom located? That way. You can't miss it. Just stay on the path. According to my book, there have been Bigfoot sightings in these woods. What? I don't like the sound of that. What? <laughs> Kids, you don't need to worry about seeing a Bigfoot. <sighs> you should worry about Bigfoot seeing you. Why? What happens if it sees us? Tell us what happens! <laughs> Relax. It was a joke. A hilarious and terrifying joke that could turn out to be eerie foreshadowing for what happens on this adventure. I'll set up the tents and you kids can go explore. Just don't leave the clearing. I can't believe we just left the clearing. Whoa, check out the view. <gasps> well, I'm bored. Yeah, <sighs> me too. Camping blows chunks! Camping blows chunks! Camping blows chunks! Let's go get rich! <laughs> Wait up! trapped on the western perimeter. Why? We made it through the night. We did, but somehow Bigfoot made it past all my traps and took Jude and Izzy. He needs to step it up or die. Harold chose step it up. Your choice made no sense. Anyway, the more traps we set up, the safer we are. <laughs> it's not easy being a bird. Ah! 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 Whoa. 
Whoa, this sure looks kind of dangerous. Watch your step, kids. Lava gators. Come on, kids. It's just one little jump, Owen. You can do this. Tale as old as time, bro. This is the last door, kids. How do we get through? Don't worry, I got this. <gasps> We're gonna be rich, kids. Uh oh. The cave is falling apart. We gotta get out of here. <laughs> That was too close, but totally worth it. We got Bigfoot's treasure! We're gonna be rich! And we didn't die, which is also kind of important. <laughs> up there! <sighs> oh, we should be safe up here. <gasps> Bridget, what is going on? Sorry, Owen. I've been trying to talk to you all day. Lenny, the class hamster, is evil! <gasps> you know, I was starting to think that might be the case. And I hate to say this, but it's my fault. He was a sweet ball of cuddles at first, but then I made a mistake. A big mistake. I gave Lenny people food. <gasps> but that's the number one rule. I know. He was just so cute. Then what happened? He turned evil. He made me feed him more and more people food. Soon, I was up until 4 a.m. making him fresh cannelloni. That's why I quit. There, there, that's okay. We just have to stay up here for the rest of our lives. <gasps> He's stealing the fridge! But all our lunches are in there! We won't let you steal our food, Lenny! <laughs> Bad Lenny! Bad hamster! <laughs> Second time's the charm, right, guys? Yeah. Lunches are safe. But where's Lenny? What's that noise? <laughs> Lenny, I sure hope that's kibble. <clears throat> oh, no wonder he's so angry. When did Lenny learn how to fly an airplane? He'll never get me up here. <laughs> You may take away our freedom, but you'll never take our lunches! Ow! You okay, Owen? I think so. You fluffy rat! You want people food? Choke on this! Lenny? One way or another, you're going back into that cage. Dun, 
Pumpkin, you actually expect me to pull you around? Shh! 0.5 horsepower fire riders don't talk. Though my bike did have an awesome sound system, I need driving music. Ugh, fine. Buzzer, 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 Not that weird stuff. Beatbox! Bumps, bump, bumps. Bumps, bump, bumps. You know, I'm a little hungry. My bike also had a sandwich press. Ha! No way! Chef said you're supposed to be my new bike, and I say my bike made sandwiches. Ugh, fine. Freshly <laughs> squished! It's not hot. He wants a hot sandwich? Okay. Uh, on second thought, pass. But speaking of flames, this wagon could use some. There, done. Flames. Nice. And while we're at it, my bike had a skull hood ornament. <sighs> this is humiliating. Ah! That skull's on the outside! Ikhaba kind of katsen. I have no cats. Ikhaba kind of katsen. I have no cats. Um, Chef, how's it going? <gasps> oh no, the bike is even more broken than before! So it is. But I'll have it fixed as soon as I figure out what a schloozel is. Do you think this is a schloozel? No. Why do these instructions have to be in German? Ich habe versehentlich eine Schnecke eingeatmet. I accidentally inhaled a snail. Uh. Huh, now that my bladder's empty, I gotta fill it back up again. Take me to the slushy store! Are you crazy? How do you expect me to get past the fence? I don't know, use your head. I can't believe you did that! You told me to! I didn't think you'd actually do it! You might be a better bike than my old one. <sighs> Here you go! Fill your bladder! The corner store? No way! I only slurped the finest slushies from the sugar shack! It's that a way! <gasps> uh... <laughs> Could you go a little faster? I'm parched back here. Hey, Mush, mush. You parked in a no parking zone. I'm not paying those. <laughs> 